Spacey Sims, and we are back with more murdered soul suspect. And we are attempting to not kill ourselves in the train. But I like looked and it was like, head jump across and then look back and then there's a way to teleport you teleport over here. So we're gonna wait, we gotta aim it perfect. Okay, whoopsie, get out of the way. And then we look back and then we're supposed to not go there, we're supposed to go over here. So we're just gonna... Cool! I got it. Oh, and there's a thing over here. Go. Collect. And then I think there's supposed to be another... Not straight ahead, I don't think. Or are we supposed to go straight? Maybe we're... I think we're supposed to go... I don't think we're supposed to go there. I can go here, though. Can I see anything or is this I can okay I can get over there I bet oh, oh fuck I meant to like let go like to not do it not to let go and jump in front of the fucking train god damn it I was like no wait I'm gonna wait because I wanted to move and then aim better and I I just always forget that it was I okay that is my bad that is my bad not what I meant to do Okay, so we gotta do this train bullshit all over again, so that's fine. It's like I know there's a train coming, so I'm not even gonna... These trains are coming way too fast, man. So, like, don't let up on the trigger. Don't let up on the trigger. I can't... It's not gonna... I can't get him in the... I can't... I don't want to do that because I'm afraid that if I teleport him right there, it's gonna, like... Yeah. I'm, I was trying to move quickly, but it didn't work. Um... I was like, I know if I teleport him there, it's gonna be too close, but maybe if I can walk quick enough, but no. It didn't work. Did not work. It's okay. This is, I prefer dealing with jumping the tracks and this than goddamn demons. Because honestly. Okay, yes, cutscene train. I get it. Cool. So, see, like, I don't want to do that. I want to make sure we have enough time to go here. So like we gotta go not there. There. And we already got the thing that was here. Yes we did, okay. Okay, so these are the stairs, but there is something over there, so I want to go over there. I knew. I'm like, I'm not going to do it because I'm going to get right in the middle of the train. So there we go. Collect. Witch trial. The Salem witch trials ended in 1693. However, witch trials continued with legal sanction in Europe as late as 1750. Okay. And I think... Oh, hey. It's a good thing we came over here, huh? You could also run across the tracks, probably, but not fast enough. Shit. Oh, thank God. I was like, oh no, we're gonna die before we get here. Okay, so that's... Okay, so then we gotta get to the stairs. I'm assuming we have to teleport onto the stairs. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. The train is going through the stairs. That's scary as fuck. I was gonna walk. Not a good idea. God damn motherfucking train. Are we done with you? Mind read. To be a real cop. I wish I 
wish Salem was famous for something else. Yeah. I hope I don't have to go back downstairs for anything. Because, like... Holy fucking shit, do I not want to deal with the train shit again. This game is so much fun when I'm not dealing with demons, like... to see there's like it's just where we were so there's really nothing around the edges of the room I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss anything so this is is this, this is kind of where we came in right yeah There was nothing around the edges of the room. There was nothing in here. No. Anything over here? Okay, wait, wait, what's in... Anything through here? No. Interesting. So, like... Okay. So there's thing... There's a room over here, it looks like. That's outside. That's where we came from. That's outside. But what's this way. This is where it's got to be because there's nothing else here. I just, I don't like when, I don't mind the demon puddles. I don't like actual demons though. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, go back. No, 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 no. Go back, bitch. There's something behind you. Go back. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. There's some behind you. I saw it. I told you to look after Iris. You're not the boss of me. I found a bunch of stuff downstairs. The bell killer is offing his victims as if they're witches. And there's a contract with a devil? I'm heading upstairs to see what else I can find. Nope. Nope. Thank you. I should have told you to follow me, and then maybe you would have stayed at the church. I don't like hearing the swamp monster noise. Just keep an eye out for security cameras and alarms. Thanks for the tip, but this isn't even my first break in today. <laughs> Little bird. Toenails hurt. Yeah, this looks like the right place. Now let's see what these artifacts can tell me about the witch trials. Do any of these artifacts relate to the bell case? 14. Wow, that's a lot. I'm 
I'm just making sure there's nothing around the outskirts here. No collectibles. No shit like this, see? Okay, so we're back in this area, right? Okay. <sighs> Salem Psychic History. Sophia was a medium as well. This means that several of the girls in the Bell Killer targeted were mediums. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Can we go back and look at that again? So, that's why he thinks they have a deal with the devil, or, or like Satan, or whatnot, and that's why he's targeting them. And that's why he went after... List of the Accused. Oh, a notebook from the late 1600s listing the accused in the witch trials. Judgment. Judge's gavel, I wonder how old that is. So let's see something. There are more artifacts upstairs in the restoration room that might be related to the Bell Killer case. And this is the one we couldn't see. The killer used Puritan era style witch trial punishment devices on his victims. Important message. An antique scroll. That helps me a lot. This book, nothing? No? It's over here. Inspect this. One of the existing witch trial related paintings previously is in the first floor exhibit. View. A crystal believed to be able to tell the future. A locket necklace. I don't know. I didn't listen to the sound. I would think this. We're gonna have a locket. My apologies. It will always belong to you. For oh, shame, Bridget. The shroud of your conversation with the spirit world will surely condemn you as a witch. Puritans considered anyone exhibiting medium-like abilities to be witches. So, is he, like, possessed by, like... Like, the killer? Is he, like, possessed by, like... The dude who, uh... So, like, let's see. What's this? What's over here? Anything interesting? Oh, what's that? Inspect. Distress calls. An antique sh looking ship's telegraph. I'm not sure why this is like re relevant, but we'll figure that out. Huh. Anything else down here? What's this? Navigation. An antique looking. Brass ship's binnacle. What's this then? Cannon. Civil War. Doesn't help that creepy ghost girl in the middle. Civil War era cannon. Stuck in place. Ship anchor, okay. Kids changed. Judge. Oh yeah, he looks like a nice dude. Painting of a witch trial judge. He looks like a nice guy. I don't understand why people think he's evil. She said with really, really, really good. Oh, what's this? 
inspect a barrel. Wine! Oh, oh, crack that shit open! Um, please crack that open. I'm not really sure what all of these clues have to do with... What's this? Uh, inspect. Oh! I was trying to like click the thing before it. Kid, I, I need you to lift up this painting. Is Baxter the murderer? It's called the Hanged Witch. It's creepy. Just a little bit. It's the killer symbol. ghostly version of the bell killer symbol is on a painting called the hanged witch Baxter hurried to hide the painting when someone approached him up here why hide it and why was he here in the first place he's the killer Malicious Maleficarium, or Hammer of the Witches, published in 1487, argue for the existence of witches, the nature and genesis of their powers, and how best to persecute them. Dedicated to the nameless citizens whose generosity made the care of our town's heritage possible, we delicately restore the past to make a better future. Like this. This place. It puts me in touch with odd sensations, centuries old. I'm trying to focus on this killer, but the echoes from these sensations keep interfering, like deaths from the past pleading to be remembered. Hmm. Interesting. Joy's mother's mother feels spirits from Salem's history are linked to the items kept in the museum. I would assume so. I mean, for God's sakes. I just need to get all the fun stuff that's out here before we, uh... Did I get them all? Damn it, one more. It's up here, I know it is. Can I go here? Nope. Nope. There it is, motherfucker. Whee! We're gonna watch it. Ready? Ooh, look, I got a bing. 4.6. Uncover the terror on the tracks, ghost story. Okay. How is that? That's like four percent. I stepped off the platform and onto the giant hissing locomotive. I remember looking back at our small town and thinking of all the happy memories we made there. But I was excited to start our new life in Salem. I, I must have dozed off because I was startled awake by the sound of screeching metal. And as the train came to a halt, all I could hear was the torrential rain pelting against the roof. I looked out the window. There was only darkness. Then came the brightest flash of lightning I had ever ever seen. When my husband left to inquire about the delay, a woman in the back of the train started screaming. We rushed over to her and, and asked her what was wrong, but all she could manage to say through her sobs was something about seeing the spirits of the dead wandering in the rain. That's crazy. Stranger still were the passengers that were suddenly stricken with the painful memories of their past. It, it was at this point that I became truly terrified. So I set out to find Joe. When I reached the cab and still hadn't found him, I was worried. 
I looked out the front window and saw the train's conductor laboring to move a downed tree from the tracks. And there was Joe walking up to help. However, instead of grabbing hold of the tree, oh. Joe bent down, picked up a rock. Now we know it's a rock. And crushed the conductor's skull with it. I mean, like, why when the I left the train and ran up to him, I could see that this wasn't the Joe I once knew. Something had taken hold of him. Ghosts. Something angry. Ghosts. Then he saw something that terrified him. He dropped the rock and ran off into the woods. However, right before he disappeared into the trees, during a bright flash of lightning, I, I thought I saw something chasing him. Creepy. Hunting him. <laughs> I can only describe it as a ghostly specter, cloaked in black. A demon. Mm. But more likely than not, it was just a shadow. The authorities spent days combing the woods for Joe, but he never turned up. I tried to go back home, but the memories were too painful. Some nights I lie in bed tortured by the thoughts of what our life could have been if we had never stepped onto that train. Oh. Yay! We have one more that's probably going to be in some other thing. And I don't know if we'll get the Eternal Flame one because... The Lord's Prayer test. It was believed that the devil would never let one of his minions say all the words to the Christian Lord's Prayer. The accused were asked to recite it in full, and some of them, though merely forgetting some of the words, would find themselves in deep legal trouble. Okay. I don't think there's anything else we can do down here, right? Nope. Okay, cool. So let's go back to the investigation. We got all of the thingies that we can find that I'm aware of. That I think we can have anyway. Oop. Okay, so we have one more clue to find, so. Okay, so let's see. It's not probably one of these paintings. I don't know. No. One of these? No. There's nothing around here. Nothing behind there. Okay. We kind of already looked here. But it doesn't look like it's any of these paintings. Okay. We already got this guy. Don't think it's these. Okay. Let's see. Anything here? No. Uh, we already got this. What's in here? Do we miss? Okay, this is the anchor. We already got the anchor. We got that and that and that. Oh, we didn't get this thing. Or I guess it, we did. We got the wine barrel, but like. This thing has a spotlight on it. Okay. It's not that. Okay, so I'm not quite sure where the last clue is. Because we got most of that stuff. Is there anything here? What's in here? Oh, this is just the hallway. Is there anything out here for any reason? No. No, there's nothing out here. 
So, huh. I don't know what the last clue is. Oh, my ear itch is so bad. Um, well, we will find out. I'm going to wrap this part up here, and we'll continue in the next part. Um, and maybe we'll I'll look and see if I can, like, find a healthy thing that tells me what the last clue is, because I'm not sure where it is. I feel like we've walked around this entire place. Um, but I'm a completionist. I want to know all the clues, but I don't see. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I found it. Okay, cool. Any direction. Antique looking ship's wheel. Okay, cool. So we found them all. So we will conclude the investigation when we come back in the next part. So I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.